G'day guys, John from Diamond Protection. Welcome back to our how-to videos. Today, we are gonna be discussing uh, our vertical rescue techniques. In you'll see some further segments down the track, we'll discuss things and we'll talk about points of contact, guys. Points of contact is a very important part of this, I suppose, because while on twin ropes, we need to be on two points of contact at all times. When I say two points of contact, we need to be one full point of contact on this rescue, on this line, which I will call for this part our uh, backup line. And this is my main line, which I need a full point of contact on here. When I talk about full points of contact, because there are a couple of different ways, I'll show you one now. I'm about to hook up my safety device, guys. For my safety device today, I'll just be running an ASAP, what they call an ASAP. These are a good... Uh, bit of gear because with the ASAP they're like a set and forget. They'll follow you up and they'll follow you down and when need to they will take up. The way these work guys because I'm going to talk about teeth, these also have teeth in them but they also have a rolling cam in there. They don't just tear in there, they slow down because of that cam squeezes in. So I hook my ASAP up into there, then just for, to show today, I'm going to hook it into here. Normally I'd put it on my dorsal. That now is one point of contact. That one point of contact on my safety line, like I said, it will follow me up, follow me down. If I need to stop somewhere, I lock it off, it'll sit there. Again, remember to unlock it, and then again, it'll follow me up or down. So like I said, it's a set and forget. Now to the main line, guys. The main line is the line we're going to be working on all the time. So normally you would descend or ascend, I ascend as well using an ID20 which is made by Petzl. It's just another descender which I use to ascend as well. With the Petzl it has a cam system in there that locks up when I pull the cam too far or if I start the free pull. They're a great bit of gear guys. So if I was to run my line through there, close the cheek plate and away I go, I am now with this Petzl is another point of contact because it has no teeth like I said before. So that's one full point, two full points. But the other way, when I climb, I don't always use an, a descender. I can climb using my crawl, which is attached to my harness. So when I climb using my crawl, I'll sit that in there. Now I'm hooked up to that. I can hang off that and that's fine, but it has teeth in there it doesn't have a rolling cam. This now is classed as half a point. So I call this half a point of contact. So I've got one full one here, half here. Remember what I said, two points of contact at all time. We only have one and a half here. So we need to put another point of contact into my main line. So reach back here onto my belt. I remove what I use to climb is an ascender. Petrol A sender, and on that I have attached a foot loop because the foot loop is what I use to actually stand in. So when I put this ascender into my main line, it is now sat in there. There's my loop which I put my feet in. Now guys, I have one point of contact, half here, half here. So that gives me one on my main, one on my safety line. Again, because it's got teeth, so that's one. And the reason we only call this one point a half here is as long it's attached to me. If none of these, if this cow's tail here wasn't in the system and that was there as just to climb in, it's not a point because if I fell off, that would not hold me. So if I was to fall or this was to fail, I've got two points here, two half points, which make a one, it will catch me. So guys, I hope you enjoyed and I hope it has explained a little bit to you about points of contact as you will see, we'll discuss further down uh, the track on these videos. Remember, subscribe on the link down below. They are fun to do, but you must be safe at all times. And remember, don't just climb on a rope. Enroll in one of the courses. We will teach you how to climb and have fun. And it is really a great way to enjoy life. See you next time.